Hello all. Today I am going to present our work on classification of ovarian neoplasms using 3D supervised quantitative learning approach. My name is Torun Kantirai. I am working as a research assistant at the University of Iowa. Before going into details of our work, I am going to present some of the backgrounds. According to the American Concert Society, Ovarian cancer ranks fifth death cancer death among women. And of all the uh, cancers related to female reproductive system, is the most deadliest one, even more deadlier than the uh, breast cancer, which is very common among women. Uh, the reason it's more deadly because breast cancers are nowadays easy to diagnose at an early stage, but with the ovarian cancer it's not that easy and hence we have a rate of 7.2 percent among hundred of current women and the hopeful thing is the rate of uh, this cancer death is uh, going down at a rate of 2.3 percent over the last 20 years and as you can see from this graph second graph graph B in our poster the out of all the cases every 11.2 case uh, 8 cases 7.2 people dies and the reason this on this diagnosis of this cancer is very challenging is because a large number of cyst ovarian cyst which the doctors need to go through manually to find the benign and the malignant tumor cells and this takes a lot of time and uh, other non-invasive diagnosis methods are not well developed yet and to, to make this diagnosis easier is our approach is to use AI tools uh, to make the life easier for the patients as well as the uh, doctors. And the data set we will be using in this work is uh, collected at the University of Iowa Hospital and Clinics. These data sets consist of 331 patients and out of them 196 patients had as malignant tumors. And we trained our model with a stratified five-fold cause validation method because our data set is very smaller compared to the population. And in this experiment we use, we use CT, uh, CT scans and from the CT scans of the patients we uh, curbed the ROI at the lower abdomen of the region of the patient where the ovary is located and we did different kind of uh, filtering to find out the um, to make the ovarian region more visible and we use different kind of data augmentation like uh, flipping rotation and some of the width and height coughing so, and it, after this augmentation and reprocessing we feed our, our data into a supervised contrastive learning uh, model. Uh, this model, what it does, it uses a 3D encoder which pretend and then after the pretending of the encoder with the uh, um, level data, we use a, a multi-layer perception model uh, on top of the encoder and we use this encoder after freezing the we use this um, MLP after freezing the encoders and uh, works and this uh, this uh, pretend encoder and the MLP head used as a classifier for the ovarian tumors and as you can see in this result section we plot we have all the baseline 3D models that is for classification and supervised contrastive learning models and in every of the uh, cases 
our supervised contractor learning approach based on baseline models. Thank you very much.